All right, Derry Diamond with how to get out of Babylon and Flat Earth Homeland. Craton Studies 101. I'll leave that up and hopefully you can read that at the bottom. <clears throat> Main thing to take away from this is where is the Craton? And what is the border and what happens on the border of the Craton? And here is the one I was talking about. Johnny, connect the dots. This is from Earthquake 3D. Follow the dots there. Draw the Craton. Connect the dots. Draw the Craton. Okay. Now, a couple of massively stupid things have been going on and that is uh, one of the maps I'm going to pull up is uh, the shale area of the United States. Well, whatever the connection is and I, I hope everyone knows that there's no such thing as fossil fuel. Oil is not a fossil fuel. There's no limit to it. But a lot of the shale areas are here and so they've been fracking on the dotted craton line. I wrote that article. You can look it up. Fracking on the dotted craton line. It should pull it up. Um, <clears throat> but it's as if they want to weaken, perforate that, cr that edge all the way along the edge. Uh, it just seems that way. My son-in-law made the connection on a Saturday night. My son and I, David, made a connection on the Saturday night. And the next morning, Jeff told me, he said, hey, last night it hit me that they're perforating the craton edge so that they can drop off large parts of the United States into the ocean. And I was like, Jeff, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard of. And I said, no, just kidding. <laughs> JK, just kidding. David and I um, had the exact same thought probably at the exact same time as you did last night. So, yeah. Now, Dutch Sins, this is from Dutch Sins. Um, and he, I remember one day he said, at least they're not stupid enough to be fracking right over the magma chambers from Yellowstone. And then about the next day or two, he's like, I live in a completely, and he has to use the word fucking insane world, um, which is very unusual for him. But he said they are fracking on the edge of the craton on top of the magma chambers under Yellowstone. One of which they said, the, the newer one they have quote-unquote discovered, they say it would fill 11 Grand Canyons. Sounds like hell to me, don't it? But this is basically hell out here in the West. Because every one of those earthquakes is also, virtually every single one of those, is a volcanic fissure or an ancient volcano or a dormant, quote-unquote dormant volcano. Ring of fire. You know, not going to go into that any more than I did. So, yeah, very fascinating. Um, okay, touch the screen. No, I could have just clicked it. Gone to the next one. Um, actually, I'm going to do that. Where were we at? Okay. Oops. All right. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Um, that's where I started on, or had, had it on the other video. We get the pointer out of there. I'm going to leave that up for a few minutes. You can read it. I'm not going to read it because my voice is getting raspy and dry. But um, however you, whatever you believe about the age of the earth is irrelevant. Um, just as God, God, God didn't create a baby, he created Adam full grown. He could have created an earth full grown. Looks like it's billions of years old. I don't have any problem with that. They do say that around the single dome of the Ozark Plateau, there is a coral reef that it was a, an island for billions, well, millions of years or quarter of a million years or something. So who knows? But it may once again be time is irrelevant to the creator. So let's see if I can do that again. Where did I? Uh oh, no, no, no. Where'd my pointer go? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
There it is. Okay. Now, one time, it, 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 that made it move. That's funny. I'll leave, leave this up. You can look it up. This is, I think, from the Wikipedia article. Laurentia, or the Laurentian shield, or the Canadian shield. Notice it kind of looks like a shield. You know, if you big old Roman shield, you know, and maybe the guy's right-footed or left-footed, whatever. But, you know, anyway, it, it kind of does have the form of a big gigantic shield, but it's protective. Um, my first clue about it was a Dutch Sense video that had a, a, connect, a link to a U.S. whatever supposed satellite thing showing the, uh, that it was venting at the same time every day. I want to point this out just real quick here. This is a big picture. This is the uh, tectonic plate. And if you look on Google Earth, there's your African plate, Eurasian plate, North American plate. Right up the middle here in the Atlantic is, looks like a range of mountains again, where forces slammed that together and that ridge came up. Okay, but notice this, that that's Iceland, the Craton and the North American tectonic plate go through Iceland. And just like Yellowstone, on the west edge of the Craton, it's like a uh, pressure relief valve you would have to have a, a degree in volcanology to understand the complexity of the fissures and you know tubes and tunnels and vents there. Greenland is inside the craton. The craton comes right up here through the Appalachians up here, back around, back down right through the Continental Divide. You can read that. Look it up. Read it if you want to. Leave it up if you want to. Screen shoot it. Interesting here. This is a map of the volcanic rocks. Notice the volcanic rock formations up the Cordillera, continental divide, lots of volcanic activity. Now this, however, is a Canadian shield. And it's interesting, now that is metamorphic rock. It's like the basement, the part of the craton where the basement rock is exposed, called the Canadian shield. Uh, interesting that it's they surround the Hudson Bay as if something really big hit Hudson Bay, something really big and really fast, and blew, exposed, ripped out everything down to the rock, the basement rock. Hmm, interesting term they use there for that. Oh. See the orange color here? That's the shield. There's the platform that the shield is on, the pinkish color. And then origin, you look that up, study it, I'm not going to explain it. The basin, large igneous, you know, this is all just... But one thing that's interesting to me is... There's more maps that are going to show it better, but... These are just some maps I pulled up, and I, I thought they were interesting, but, uh, yeah. Note also the uh, Greenland shield color, color the same color as a shield. Okay, here's another map of the uh, a larger one of that metamorphic rocks. Yeah, I just thought it was really interesting that it's like, <laughs> if you imagine a blast radius of about, what, I don't know, 1,000 miles. <laughs> Stripping all the, all the dirt off down to the core. I don't know. Just kind of what it looks like to me. At first glance, I'm like, oh, yeah, something hit there in the hole. And it, you know, cleaned everything off, blew it off. I don't know. 
the same ones I had up earlier, except, you know, North American Craton movement past 30 days, February 2016. Image is maybe subject to copyright, but Dutch since. There's his, oh. Okay. Still good. North American Craton. Like I said, I'm just kind of doing a video on Craton. North American Craton 101. This is the largest craton in the world. It is, it has been called, it is called the largest rock on the planet. If you haven't heard me say it before, I will say it now. It is less dense than the Earth's mantle. In other words, it cannot sink. This is not true out here. All this crap out here can sink because it's not part of the thing that won't sink, can't sink. There's no way this can sink. This can. All of this out here, uh, if it cracks off, it will slide down into the ocean. There's huge trenches out here that are capable of swallowing up that entire you know, thing. What is the biggest mountain in the world? I bet you nobody would get the answer to that. Maybe one or two of you. If you know the answer before I tell you, no, I'm not going to tell you. Comment. I'll come up with a prize or something. <laughs> if you know it off the top of your head, basically, you can look it up, open book test, but, you know, but then everybody's going to know if anybody bothers to look it up. And I've given you enough clues already, so. But anyway, another little factor, and I've, I've read this one time, I've tried to find it since then. But I read once upon a time, and this is, I think, before I even got on Internet, that U.S. Navy subs have gone in under California hundreds of miles, quote-unquote. Now, have they happened to go in all the way to the Rockies? And do they know for a fact that there's nothing holding this big area that you see missing on a lot of future maps of the United States? There's nothing much holding that up there, that it is indeed a, uh, what you would call a corna, a cornice, you know, like a, if you picture this knife as the, uh, you ski out on a cornice and you're hanging over a chasm, you know, and I have friends that did that, looked back and went, oh my gosh, I was over a cornice, because the, the wind will whip them and they'll create a shelf 10 feet, 12 feet, 20 feet, 100 feet, you know hanging out, and you can be skiing out there having a good old time, and all of a sudden, crack, boom, fall, and you're within a huge uh, avalanche that you caused. <laughs> all right. But um, one time I read that. So... How much of this region out here is a cornice hanging out over the ocean? I don't know. And like I said, I've only I read it one time, and I never. I've even, I, actually online since I've been online, I have tried to find um, corroboration, you know, confirm or deny. And right now, I can't confirm or deny that. It's also an interesting thing that, according to supposedly the U.S. Navy and satellites and NASA and all that, that there are indeed two cornices. There's four cornices of the in the in the world at low spots. Cornice is a uh, a cornice is a point, a cornucopia. Okay, the horns of the altar are cornices, corners, horns, corners. So you have a horned place, a high place of ocean levels, raised for thousands of square miles, and low points. And oddly enough, two of the low points are off the coast, western coast of the United States and off the eastern coast of the United States. So, um, I don't know. What does that mean? Mm. <laughs> it means that if, if indeed the Bible says that the angels at the four corners of the earth stop the winds from blowing, that there's going to be a heap of water coming down and leveling out in the level region of the world, because it is level. Water seeks its own level. Anyway, all right, I'm going to finish up there because I'm pushing 15 minutes. This is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant.